Hello, this is Elizabeth Brico, one of the authors of Trauma, a PTSD blog on Healthy Place. Today I'm here with Alan Ginsberg, who was one of the founders of my grad school, where I went and got my MFA in writing and poetics, the Jack Kerouac School, that he named after his friend Jack Kerouac. <laughs> um, it's appropriate that I'm sitting here with Alan Ginsberg because today I want to talk about writing and the power of storytelling in trauma healing. Um, something that I learned while at grad school was that when we think about events that have happened, whether they're traumatic events or just normal events, any memories, we are telling ourselves a story of what happened and each time we do it we're distancing ourselves from that a little bit. So that's a little bit sad even to think about when you think about happy memories but it can also be a little helpful when you think about traumatic memories. So the way it was explained to me is this. When you remember something, when you tell yourself the memory the first time, because that's essentially what you're doing. You're remembering, you're telling yourself the story of what happened the first time. You're doing that, for, it happens. Then you're telling it to yourself for the first time. Then the next time you remember it, you're telling yourself the story of remembering it. Then you're telling yourself the story of telling yourself the story of remembering and so on yeah. and so forth. So each time you remember something, or you get a little bit farther from the original event. And I think that when it comes to processing trauma, when you actually set that down to paper and do it intentionally, that can be really, really powerful. For me, I started doing that with fiction. I fictionalized a lot of the traumatic events that happened in my life and that helped me to come to a place to be able to write some of the blog posts and articles and nonfiction things I'm writing now, um, which a lot of people are like, wow, how are you able to be so candid? Well, that's how, because I processed it through fiction and kind of gave myself that distance. Some people prefer to do it through journaling. Some people prefer to do it through poetry. Some people could do it in a less formal way. It, it really doesn't matter. Any way I think that you set it down to paper is helpful and you can do it at a rate that's comfortable for you. Don't pressure yourself, you know, if you find yourself like having a flashback or something, you can take a break, you don't have to do anything, push yourself, but it can be really, really helpful to just um, kind of process what happened to you by writing about it. And um, there's a therapy that uses storytelling and writing as well, which I'm not a therapist, so I'm not going to talk to you about that, but if it's something that interests you, talk to your therapist about it. Alright, talk to you next time. Bye.